when you guys make big announcements, are you one that just likes to rip the Band-Aid off or really just drag this out? Like, if you had something really important to say in this segment, would you just say it right now? Or would you, like, let's have a segment, have a little conversation, and then What do you build mean big announcements? It? Like, what, what kind of big announcements? I don't know. I'm just saying if hypothetically someone wanted to announce something in here. Announce like, like Witty, what, if though? you wanted to announce something, would you just, like, would, are you rip the Band-Aid band off kind of guy? I think I am. I don't like to drag things out. Yeah, right to the point. Yeah, right but, to the but, point. But yeah. why are you guys oh. talking about big announcements? Because like, I just like is... to talk about life sometimes, and, and we all have big announcements to make sometimes. Right. You never and know. And I just like to see, I like to go around the room, get a feel for how people, ha like audience, how do you, like we're going to give a little 10 seconds of silence here so everyone in the audience can say how they handle big announcements. <laughs> hmm. All right, so audience, when you have a big announcement, are you a rip the band-aid type, or do you, you know, slow burn? Shh. Hmm. Oh. This is a callback to Naked Chris, by the way. I used to do this with Naked Chris. <laughs> you guys yeah, are yeah. so uncomfortable with silence, you couldn't get through four right. seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so, uh, Chris is we're going to radio for a long time, Dan. Uh, no, ready to go. Dan and I were ready for 10 seconds. So you're, I still don't understand what you're doing, though. What Are we making a big announcement here? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes, we are. But who's we are. making it? Whoa. Is Chris Cody making it? I mean... I am making a big oh, announcement. Well, okay. Right. I don't like to, like, you know classify my own announcements as big or not big. Wait a minute. I'll, I, I'll, I'll I leave that to you guys. I started this segment and there's actually an announcement that needs to be made? <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good at this. That's off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it leaving. was really <laughs> poor <laughs> acting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Spoiler whoa. alert. <laughs> whoa, what, the, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, I, Tris Jack Cody is. is correct. He has indeed broken my news. Uh, I will no longer be the executive producer of this program. Um, I uh, took over that job like a year and a half ago, but yeah, I will indeed be leaving that. And uh, I have decided to commit fully to my play-by-play -play role, which I have recently begun with Apple. And uh, yeah, I will no longer... Well, I don't want to say no longer, because I'll still be around here at Metal Arc. Uh, we're working on a project uh, that I will be a part of. Um, but uh, yeah, in terms of regular daily involvement on this show... Um, that uh, comes to a conclusion today. I'll, I'll still be around. Like I think every every once in a while, I'll still kind of. Uh, oh, oh, they're hugging you. The yes, yes. oh. Did you have a different way of doing this yes. before Chris no, Cody no, got no, no, involved? No, 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 no. I didn't write anything. I, okay. I was going to nice, say nice. it just as awkwardly. Some people um, would argue that you presided over the single worst era of the Levitard show with Stu Gott. And if if that is <laughs> that was Andy if, King, year one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, it's not Andy. Andy's oh, fault. No, not no. Andy's fault. He catch a stray. Oh, no, no. Oh. My fault and Dan's fault. Not Andy's <laughs> fault. Okay? Poor Andy oh. King. All right. So I come Straight. in. It's I come our in third, fault. Then. Not Andy King's. I said I, it. I come in third then. That's fine. Um, but uh, if that's on my tombstone, at the very least I got to say, I work with you, a tremendous group of people. I love you all. I will miss you all. Well, rank us. Uh, hold Thank on. Before, <laughs> don't, before, don't we do rank we, before we get to making this awkward and syrupy, uh, we are very happy for you because when you started over here, you are now embarking on what is your dream job, correct? Yes. This is and and for those who do not know, we have known Whittingham since he was a young broadcaster in college, heard him on a WVUM game, and he was exceptional, noticed him that he was good at the art of play-by-play. -play. And so you bailed us out during a really turbulent, difficult time by coming over here and simply being helpful uh, at a time, and we still need the help because we're going to miss you. Uh, but Thank you're you. getting your dream job. This is, uh, yeah. and you want to devote yourself to it because you can't. People don't understand how consuming these jobs are. They think Joe well, Buck yeah. shows up and can just fart out four <laughs> hours, and that's not how it works. Yeah, I didn't honestly because uh, when I when I got it, I was like, all right, this works out perfectly. Fly out on a Friday, do the game on a Saturday, fly back on a Sunday, do the show Monday to Thursday. It'll be fine. It'll work out great. And then you get into doing it's like, whoa. This is a lot. So uh, yeah, I've I've embarked on a couple trips and uh, it kind of proved to be too much for me. And yeah, uh, I I kind of decided that yeah, this is absolutely my dream job. And you know, working more towards this and being able to do it better is really important to me. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll still be kind of hanging around in case anyone needs me for anything. But uh, in terms of regular involvement in the show, and I actually Dan, in honor, I have a I have a top five list if you want it. Ooh. 
wow. on, the way, on, on the way out here as, so, as as sort of a, a, moment, a memento to leave behind. Okay, so this is a top five list on yeah. one of the worst eras ever of the Dan Levitard show with <laughs> Stugatz, uh, surpassed only by Andy King, although <laughs> Stugatz uh, says it's my fault and on his us. fault. Yes. Uh, by the way, that those those three weeks when I started in between ESPN and just doing a podcast the next day, one of the craziest three weeks of my life. That was batshit crazy. The whole thing has been yeah. batshit crazy. Again, yeah. I remind you, don't start a business <laughs> during a pandemic. What is the top five? All right, the um, top five list. You know, I like to annoy you guys with my British expressions, and I kind of revealed them one at a time. And I got people saying, not from E-Clive. And I got people saying... Uh, uh, unwelcome yeah, additions to un the show. Yeah, yes. Right. Oh, so no. I, have, I have a top five list of British expressions oh. that, I that I haven't gotten to yet that I was going to over the course of time, but I didn't get to. It's the perfect way for you to go out. Uh, oh, in that really it's terrible. Is. It's, <laughs> you need to leave. Maximum yeah. fancy <laughs> lad. He's 100% Colombian. Yeah. Not British in any way. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense in any um, way, nope. except well, that he wishes to be like their people. I do have a Welsh last name. Just saying. Uh, it's weird. I think I'm shocking people right now, telling them that Chris <laughs> Whittingham is 100% Colombiano. It's a fake last name. It's. Uh, I mean, that's harsh. Uh, anyway, number five. <laughs> well, I, I have two OLIs. First, I never got to say that I was going on vacation by saying, I'm going on holiday. I said it to you often. Everyone, is, <laughs> everyone is just shaking their heads. Uh, so sadly, but not because you're leaving. Sadly, because this has to be the end. All right. I never got to say that I was eating cookies by saying I'm having a biscuit. Uh, Chris Cody, I'm looking at the faces here. You are getting at the very end. Glad he's leaving. No buy-in <laughs> from anybody. Number five. I never got to describe someone that was very pale as being. Albino. Number four, uh, one of the strangest dismounts in the history of goodbyes. I never got to say that people driving a pickup truck drive lorries. Unfortunate. <laughs> I never got to say <laughs> that where we park our cars is a urine-smelling garage. Cody, how do you feel about how uh, how this goodbye is going? It says goodbye. I, I feel great about it, and and I don't want to uh, step on his lines here, but when I take over as executive producer, <laughs> as soon as Witty teaches me all the buttons, I'm going to really give it my all. So, Witty, uh, thank you for leaving me that job. I've been told you're in the running, Greg. Wow. Number two. Never got to describe something in quotes, as in inverted commas. <laughs> Is Pablo Torre coming in to be the executive uh, producer of this show? Is that what they were he's he also in contention. What he was hired for? Number one. I never got to describe Juju Gotti's incredible sneakers as trainers. <laughs> wow. Uh, go sit in the penalty box. <laughs> Bye. Whoa. Forever. Bye. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Love you. Lifetime. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Lifetime ban. Lifetime major. <laughs> just gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna come in a month and to be to just go sit there for an hour and then leave. It'd be great if you just always there. <laughs> just put a cardboard oh, cut. Oh, almost a, got to the end. No. Oh, Whenever no, someone goes to the box, you have to be a cardboard cut <laughs> out. Cut, cut out of his <laughs> dreams by the lifetime major. How unfortunate on the way out. You have to do that. <laughs> in prison, <laughs> in prison at the end. <laughs> Cardboard cut out of me. I want to be sent there in a month and I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> you have your hand around the cutout? Yes. <laughs>